YouTube. What's up? It's your brother Mo. I just want to talk to you a little bit about accepted for value. Now, a lot of people have been going around using accept for value and trying and, and participating in the steps of creating an accepted for value document. We have used it and it has worked. My credit score is up. Tasha's credit score is up. Um, we're on our way on the trips to uh, see the Federal Reserve, to go inside of the Federal Reserve, because what we have found is when you use an accept for value, it does not work because you have not been into the bank yet to leave your signature and your thumbprint. Now, once you leave your, your thumbprint and your signature, you can do the IBOEs. And that is where you can get the money from or get the document, the International Bill of Exchange document from your Federal Reserve where they hold your money and transfer that to either one of the fiduciary U.S. Bank or the Wood Forest is what has been explained to me. And that was a long time ago. So you can just give it a shot. Try to just find any fiduciary and, and give it a shot. They, they can only say no. So get your paperwork done. Do all the paperwork. Don't don't let your bank account overdraft because that's a that's not the style I'm teaching. You if you Pastor Tony King, if you go to um, YouTube and YouTube Pastor Tony King, he'll tell you how to do it with the overdraft system and doing it on the privatized on that manner. I use some of that information. I want to give homage to um, Tony King that. The IBOEs and the reason why my except for values were coming back is because I haven't been in the bank to sign my signature. Only one that has not came back is the one that I done at the bank that has my signature and my thumbprint. So that's maybe one of the reasons why your accepted for value has not worked. You have to go to your fiduciary and go in and handle that. And get an IBOE. Try it. Just try it. Get it out. Get the $100 million out. Get whatever you want to get out and transfer it to an account and start discharging your debt, creating jobs for the people in America. I have um, all the documents back here, but I'm not going to go through the documents because I just want to talk to you right here and tell you what I've been through and what I've experienced or what I've experienced using acceptable value and the steps that I've taken. Now, if you watch my Facebook or my other videos and follow those videos, you'll see I've started with United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People last year, and now this year is acceptable value and IBOEs. So as you, as you see, you follow the progression of a, a revolution, a, a evolution of man. And we want a man movement. So you see, we're trying to get all the men involved, the powerful men involved to get their uh, documents done. UCC1 finance statements filed. Hold up. I'm seeing if I'm still recording, y'all. So we want to get everyone with their UCC1 finance statements filed. And we want to get the men in, the, in, each, in each group filed with UCC1 finance statements so we can be the jury. Once we all file a, a lien on our straw man, when our sons and our daughters got to go to court, we show up as the jury of their peers. And when they file their UC, do their filing of their UCC1 finance statements too, even the ones that's in prison now, we file the UCC1 finance statements and lean against their straw man while they're in prison right now. And we can um, become the jury for our own peers. And we can step outside the jurisdiction of the people that hate us. We have no problem with being under jurisdiction. But it's a problem when you're under jurisdiction of the people that hate you. And that could come from the commandments also. I always like to end with the word of God. That we have been outside the commandments of God. Is how we fall, fell into these traps and fall for these uh, foolish maneuvers that they put into our school systems, into our food, into our air, into our waters. If we fall back into the commandments of the Father God, we will not suffer the jurisdiction of the people that hate us. And that's just word to bond. All right, uh, I'm about to end this real quick so I can get out here to Ravenna and do a couple things with um, the printing. I'm sending stuff to the Department of Interior for my status as an indigenous American so I can get some of this land. I'll see all this land I'm out here driving.
in this land that I'm driving by. And if you look, you can see that it's a lot of good land. It's, it's land out here. It's farms. It's nothing but farms, for real. And I'm from. I'm driving from Akron into Ravenna. Now I'm in Kent right now. And as you see, it's a farm out here. There's bulls out here sometimes. Bulls, cows. Sometimes be corn. It's a farm. They switch it up. Over the years, it changes. And you will notice that you know a lot of farms change. You know, from one crop to another. They do different things all the time. And I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that change. I want to be a part of farming and feeding the people healthy food. Food that they can count on. Food where they know where it came from. And that's just the mission here. So I want everybody to um, look at this video and think that except for value work. So make sure you get your paperwork turned in. Your long form birth certificate. Your social security card. Get the numbers off the back. <sighs> I'm kind of bored right now because I'm driving down this country lane. I'm driving down a country road. A long country road. Country highway. Take me home. And then we can get some of these farms. If enough of our men and women in our community start filing the UCC1 finance statements and leaning on their straw men and then filing their paperwork with the Department of Treasury and the Department of Interior for their, their family status as Indigenous Americans and um, declaring rights to the uh, Cobell Trust, which would give everyone in that family $20,000 a month, lean on the $5 Indians with the casinos on their so-called reservations and sue them for that money to provide schools and parks and recreation for our children and our the true indigenous America. Not black, not African Americans, and the true indigenous Americans communities. This is what we own. I'm peace out y'all so I don't crash. <laughs>